Hi, everyone. Welcome to the YAM yeah Membership Portal. My name is Nal Hathleen, and I welcome all of you to our thyroid nutrition class. Maria, you can lie. Hey, 大家好，我是陈娜娜。然后今天特别欢迎大家来到我们的工作坊。Today is a really special class because usually every month in the membership portal we have a guest lecture speaker,、um, but this month it is me. <laughs> 对，今天是非常特别的一天，因为其实我们每个月都有一个嘉宾的讲座，然后今天的嘉宾就是我自己。So the reason why it's special is not because it's me, but of course that's wonderful. But it's because I don't usually give PowerPoint presentations. And so this is the first time where we're really going into like a lecture format, because I find that last month when we did、um, the talk with Dr. Campbell. 然后今天的特别之处就是因为其实我是非常少做啊、uh, 这种 PPT 演示的，然后这也是我第一次在讲座中运用到 PPT。然后就是因为上个月我们在跟嗯。Um, Campbell 博士在做的过程中 ，Um, he was talking about thyroid health and all these things. But then I realized that people in the membership portal might not be so familiar with nutrition in general. So I thought that this lecture would、um, help to provide like a basic understanding of like thyroid nutrition health. 嗯，因为上一次在跟这个。呃、uh, ，Camel 博士，我们在谈论呃、uh, 甲状腺健康的时候，其实我注意到，就是在我们呃联谊瑜伽的这个门户网站的很多呃会员呢，其实并不是很清晰，比如说这个甲状腺营养到底是一个什么概念。所以今天我们就是要给出这样一个基础的知识。So usually, whenever we start、uh, our membership portal, we always start with a prayer. So everyone can maybe sit in a comfortable position,、um, put your feet flat on the ground.、Um, Hips, heart, and head all in one line, and close your eyes. And hands can be on your knees. 嗯，因为每一次呢，我们在这个呃课上都是会有一个常规的呃做法，就是要从祈祷开始。所以可以请大家现在把脚放平，然后呢，脊椎呢可以保持，还有就是脊椎骨、头部都保持一个直立，然后手呢可以呃放在腿上，但是就是整个状态是比较放松的状态。我们就先祈祷。So you can begin to focus on your breath. 请大家把自己的注意力集中在呼吸上。And focus on your heart. 集中在你的心灵。And just very quickly scan through your body, going from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. 然后呢，就非常轻快的，我们来从头扫描到脚。Starting from our head. 从头开始。Eyebrows, 眉毛 ears, 耳朵 nose, 鼻子 chin, 下巴 neck, 脖子 shoulder, 肩膀 heart, 心 Down both the arms, all the way to the fingertips. 顺着胳膊一直到指尖 Stomach. 胃 Hips. 臀部 Thighs. 大腿 Knees. 膝盖 Calves. 膝盖骨，哦、oh, ，小腿 
uh, ankles. 脚踝骨. Feet and toes. 脚, 脚趾. Lingxingzia 我首要的忠告是林清之子保持眼睛闭眼 Bring the palm of your hands together and begin rubbing it very quickly until you generate some heat. And then cup your eyes with the palm of your hands. And then in the palm of your hands, blink open your eyes. 然后在手掌覆盖的部分，请张，请打开你的眼睛，请张开你的眼睛。And then you can open your fingertips a little bit. 可以把你的手指再分开一点。And then allow some more light in. 然后让光线进来一点点。And then whenever you're ready, you can put your hands down. 然后当你准备好的时候，就可以把手放下来了。Yay! All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So excited to have everyone here. So please keep yourself muted throughout the talk. And at the end, we're going to have um, hopefully around 10 to 15 minutes of questions. So if you have any questions, you're welcome to jot it down and then ask at the end. Please try to keep the chat section relatively free so that everyone can focus uh, on the lecture. Um, but let me know if there's anything um, that, if there's anything immediately um, unclear in the lecture, please stop me and I can briefly mention it. But if there's like bigger questions, wait till the end. 然后特别欢迎大家今天来到这里，嗯，请大家保持静音状态。然后我们会在这次讲座结束的时候留十到十五分钟，嗯，做一个互动的环节，问与答的环节。然后也请大家在这个聊天时呢，就保持顺畅，就是把那个注意力都集中在我们的讲座上。如果就是出现什么不清晰的地方，也请大家就及时的让我停下来，然后我来做一个解释。但是如果有比较大的问题，我们还是
All right, let's begin. Okay, so let me see here. Okay. Let me see how I can display this. All right, cool. Mm. Um, maybe mommy and Shardina, if you guys can turn off your camera for this so that um, I can keep it shorter. Let's see if that can happen. Actually, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Okay. All right. So here you go. So the first thing I wanted to do is to give a little warning to everyone that I am not a professional dietitian. Like everything that I'm going to share in this, in today's lecture is really either from um, my own personal learning or things that I've learned from other health professionals and things like that. 就是因为我自己不是学营养学的，那呃，它是来自于两方面，一方面是我个人的积累和学习，另一方面是来自于其他的呃营养学家。the like the all the images are on the right side so it covers like almost half of the chinese got it yeah exactly so i'm just trying to wonder how to display our our faces yeah uh, if you can but mine is okay can... both of them it shows chinese and english perfect and what about your screens i'm just wondering for the replay what what is going to come up but yeah uh, okay but anyways but you're in horizontal. But I put my iPad is horizontal. Okay. That's why I can see everything. Cool. That's good. All right. I'll put it horizontal at the top and see. I think this might be better. All right. Cool. Um, all right. So that's the warning, little warning sign. Let's get right, to, right into it. <laughs> So the first thing that we want to think about when we're thinking about like thyroid health is that there are six components of basic minerals that we need in our body to all take care of like this one thyroid um, region. 当我们谈到甲状腺健康时,我们首先想到的其实就是这六种矿物质的元素。然后是这六种，它来呃照顾到我们整个这个甲状腺这个区域的。and so just to actually share with everyone what the thyroid is, it's a gland that is like a butterfly shaped on your like neck and on your throat. So that when I'm speaking here, you have um, the neck and you have two other organs and then you have the thyroid sitting on top of it. Mm. So, uh, when we, and the, the function of the thyroid, um, are, it's very important in our body. It, it monitors our body temperature. It monitors our weight there. It secretes many like, um, important hormones, like sex hormones, as well as hormones to regulate the body temperature and, um, other sort of gland systems. And it works very closely with the kidneys and the liver. 
，呃，来监测我们的呃体温以及我们的体重，在这方面起很大的作用。同时，它又会呃与我们的各种激素，比如说性激素相关，那它也会帮助我们呃身体正常的循环。同时，它的这个腺体也是跟肾以及肝相互工作在一起的。And、um, so, yeah. So when you're seeing the screen, I want you to notice the um the. The unit behind it, so it's like mcg. This is like micrograms, and then you have milligrams, like milligrams, milligrams, micrograms. So all of these components are actually we need only very, very little of it in our bodies. But if we don't have it, it really can make everything like really messed up. 嗯，当我们看这个表的时候，我希望大家能够注意到后面的这个单位。嗯，所以可以看到有微克，也有毫克。我们身体呢，其实际是非常需要这方面，就是有的很多元素都是需要一点点的。但是如果我们没有它的话，我们身体又会出现很大的呃混乱状态。So um the six um minerals that we need in our body is iodine, selenium, iron, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D. 那这这六种元素分别是碘、硒、铁、镁、锌、维他命 D。And so iodine is the only one that is directly related to the thyroid, whereas the other ones actually relate to other components of the body as well. 嗯，这其中其实唯有碘，它是只和甲状腺相关联的。其他的这五种，其实它跟呃其他腺体或者器官都是会有相互作用。So among these six. The only ones that we make naturally in our body are iron and vitamin D, so three and six. 嗯，这三种中，这六种中有三种是我们身体可以自己产生的。它们分别是嗯 ，pardon me. Two, two of them, iron and vitamin D. 嗯，有两种是我们身体可以自己产生的，就是铁和维他命 D。So the rest of them we we cannot make on our own, and we have to obtain it from either supplements or through foods. 其他呢，我们这四种，要么我们可以呃从其他的食物中来获取。So um here is a list of the things that these minerals are affected with. So thyroid. So iodine is related to the directly to the thyroid glands. Selenium helps to fight infection in general. You need to have a healthy immunity to have a good,、um, healthy thyroid. 嗯，可以看到就是碘是和甲状腺相关的。然后呢，硒呢，它是呃可以抗感染的。所以你需要有一个非常健康的免疫系统。And iron, um, it produces red blood cells and it carries oxygen. 那铁呢会产生红细胞，然后红细胞会携带氧气。And magnesium, it um, it's important for muscle function. So at night when we're sleeping and we have to, we have like kicking leg syndrome, usually what we're missing is actually magnesium and iron, both of them. 嗯，镁呢，它是会在呃肌肉中发挥重要的元素的。所以有的时候晚上我们睡觉的时候，其实会有那种。呃，踢腿就是抖腿的那种现象，事实上很可能是镁的缺乏，包括也有可能是铁的缺乏。And zinc is responsible for like hundreds of different enzymatic reactions in the body. 嗯，那锌呢，其实是有呃帮助一百多种酶在我们身体中做出反应的。And vitamin D, of course, as we know, is like、uh, related to bone health. 嗯，大家都知道维他命 D 其实是对我们的骨骼健康所必须的。So I'm hoping that you guys are taking notes with this because this is going to go by really quickly. But I do want to let everyone know that at the end of this um talk, um if you join the newsletter, I'm going to share a summary of all the things that I talked in like a summary like document, so that You don't have to worry about remembering all of these things. That if you just join the newsletter or you're already on it, then you you'll know that you'll you'll get um the.
Okay, great, Nahal. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, 那刚才的这个，我希望大家都能嗯快速的记下来了。但是就算没记下来呢，其实我是在会，嗯，讲座之后呢，我会在我们的这个更新中会做一个总结的，到时候也会有文件。如果大家就是呃关注了我们的公众号的话，是可以看到之后的对于这个讲座的总结的。Actually, right now I'm going to be putting、um, the link to the newsletter in the chat so that you have it right now. 嗯，现在我就把那个链接发到我们的聊天室中，大家现在就可以看到。Okay, so let's continue. So, 嗯，我们继续。So iodine containing foods. We're lucky that those of us who are living in Dalian, we live by the ocean. So basically, anything in the ocean has iodine. Anything. So iodine is usually、um, connected to like salt, but it's actually not naturally in salt. So whenever we see like a salt container that has like iodine, iodized salt, it's actually added to it separately. But Because salt, everyone uses, and we need such a tiny amount of it that when iodine is combined with salt, which is called fortified, it's fortified. The salt is fortified with iodine, meaning that it contains like important trace elements,、uh, minerals for your health that doesn't naturally have it. That way. Everyone, like you know, on a population level, everyone can be healthy on their iodine levels. 嗯，关于含碘的食物呢，因为我们大多数人都是呃，这个群里大多数人是在大连的，所以很自然我们会吃到这样子的海鲜。然后关于呃盐呢，其实盐本身它是不含碘的，所以凡是我们见到的含碘的盐，其实都是后来添加的。而因为我们又只需要就是很少、很小、很微量的一点。嗯，数量的盐，数量的碘在盐中，嗯，那这种盐一般是 fortified， 嗯，经过处理的，所以它是含了这个嗯碘在里面的。Okay, so iodine containing foods are seaweed, and I just actually wanted to show you like a brand that I really like. This one doesn't have a lot of salt because like I usually need four bags of this to feel like my throat is kind of like okay, so. This like four bags have, a day, four bags a day, but three times a week. 嗯，这个是我想给大家推荐的，就是正好有我自己喜比较喜欢的一个一款海藻，就是它是盐比较少的。然后我自己一般是一天会吃四袋，然后四包，然后一周大概也就是三次。At least like three times. If you like to eat it more, you're welcome to like eat it more. But at least like for To maintain like my thyroid health, I feel like I need to have like th this amount. So you can just kind of test to see. You'll feel it immediately after you eat seaweed. You'll feel like your throat, like having some sensation. You'll feel like you're like stronger here in the throat. It doesn't really take too long for it to like absorb it in the body. Hmm. 就是大家也想，就是要想吃多一点也是可以的。我自己觉得，对于我的甲状腺来讲。就是我可能至少会吃三次，然后你吃完之后，就是你是会有一个感觉的，你会觉得你的甲状腺好像变得更强劲一点了。然后因为它那个吸收过程不会很长，所以其实你很快就会感觉到。So, uh, here's the list. So you, so you have seaweed, fish, iodized salt, dairy, eggs, beef, um, liver, and chicken. 嗯，所以大家可以看到这个里面有。嗯，还有鱼类、贝类，然后还有乳制品、蛋类、牛肝或者鸡肉，都是含碘的。Okay, so moving on to selenium. So selenium is、um, a mineral as well that only we need fifty-five micrograms. So it's actually very, very small. And so Brazil nuts. If you've seen Brazil nuts, they're like quite like large. They're quite like big. Like they're 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 the size of like this, and six or seven of these, even like four or five of these per day, is the maximum that you can have because、um, Brazil nuts has about 
544 micrograms. And notice that we only need like 55 micrograms. So you really cannot sit there and drink and eat like a whole bag of Brazil nuts. Like, absolutely no. This is like medicine. So it's like you, the way you have measured, you eat medicine, like in a measured way, the same as like you eat Brazil nuts, only like four or eight, maximum eight, no more than eight per day, because then your selenium um, in the body is going to go like way over much. And when there's too much selenium, it's, it becomes toxic in your body. So you really have to be careful with your selenium intake with Brazil nuts in particular. 嗯，那大家在吃巴西果的时候，其实一定要特别呃小心，因为巴西果是比较大的，所以呢，呃，每一天就是就是最多最多大家不能吃超过八颗，嗯，否则的话就是巴西果就是会成为就是对身体有毒
Um, there's two ways that you can actually test to see whether or not your iron levels are good. One way is to actually get your finger. You can take it out right now and just like get your nail and like press it, press your fingertips like this and then lift it up. When you see the blood return very quickly, you know, when you do this, you'll see it like kind of turn white. You'll leave it and turn white for a bit. And then if you take your hand off, then you'll notice that it goes red back. If it takes a really long time to, for the color to come back, that's how you know you have iron deficiency. That's the first way. Mm,那其实我们有就是呃检测我们缺铁的两个方法。第一个特别简单，我们现在就来做一下，大家可以把手指伸出来，然后用另一个手指按到你的指尖，你在按指尖的时候，你会发现这个周围会变白。但是当你
So like when you're sleeping, um, your, your legs, you're not feeling so restless and it's also a muscle relaxant. So you'll feel a lot more relaxed and you'll be able to enter sleep better. So if you're having trouble sleeping, magnesium is also a good one to like add in there. Mm. 另外，所以呢，呃，所以呢，就是镁是需要我们呃来补充一点的。那比较好的就是我们应该用这种液状的，嗯、呃，液态的来，嗯、呃，作为营养品来补充。它可以滴到这么多，滴到水里，然后在睡前服用。这样子的话，可能我们晚上这个腿，呃，抽筋的这种状况，或者是腿抽动的状况就会减少，那肌肉也会比较放松，呃，也比较容易入睡。所以，如果我们睡眠是有有这个状况的话，对，要补充一点镁。So just to give you an example of um, iron, so in the 1950s, um, we might need it to just drink like one small bowl of spinach, and we would get the amount of iron that we would need in our body. Um, um, is there someone whose um, volume is not muted? Like audio, if you can meet, mute, your, um, mute your audio while we're doing this, that would be great. Thank you. I'm unfortunately not able to see the to the Zoom. Um, so in the past, let, let me just. 嗯，我们可以知道，就是在上个世纪的五十年代，其实人们经常是会喝一大碗菠菜汤，这样子的话就会补充到身体所需的镁。But actually, um, iron, um, nowadays, even if you have, like in the past, you could eat like one bowl of spinach. And it, and it will give you the amount of iron that you needed in your body. But now we need like forty eight bowls of this spinach in order to get the amount of iron that we need. So the soil is completely depleted in the actual minerals that used to exist in these vegetables. But because the soil is so depleted. We we can't get them. So many of the supplements, many of the minerals that we have. That should be in our vegetables are no longer there, and that it requires us to like take a supplement for in order to get the amount that our body needs to function properly. 嗯，所以我们可以看到过去的这个就是五十年代喝一碗菠菜汤可以得到的那个镁的量，现在需要喝四十八碗。<笑>这是因为就是土壤的这些微量元素的流失，导致我们曾经嗯在那些蔬菜中能够。嗯，保存的那些微量元素现在是不再有那么多的量存在，因此就是吃这些补充的嗯营养品是能够才能帮助我们身体每天正常运转。Okay, so now we're going on to zinc, and zinc, zinc is actually the fifth most uh leading cause of disease. The lack of zinc is the fifth most leading cause of disease in the world. So many, many diseases actually occur because of the lack of zinc in your body. 事实上，锌呢是，嗯，世界上就是五大引起，呃，病症的，就是五大元素之一。如果我们缺锌的话，就身体会生病。And so,、um, zinc is also something that we need very, very little amount. And zinc is definitely one that you need a supplement for because zinc is depleted in every single vegetable that is out there, any single plant. So zinc is an absolute must. If you're eating food, you need to take zinc. And zinc is, as I mentioned in the beginning, is there's about a hundred different enzymatic activities. That zinc is responsible for. So zinc is something that you also need to get a supplement for. Also, great to like get something that's liquid. You also like squeeze this much in water, so you can actually put the magnesium and the zinc together in a water and drink it like an hour before bed, for so that it can relax you completely. 嗯，然后因为锌呢，现在也是在各种食物中非常缺乏，所以大家。也是可以，就跟镁一样，就是可以汲取一点这种液体的营养品，然后在睡前，嗯，把锌和镁一起放到水中，然后一小时，睡前一小时，一小时之后应该，嗯，就可以吸收的很好了。然后，正如我们在前面已经讲过的，就是锌会跟一百种酶发生作用，所以它非常非常重要。Okay, great. 
So let me include these two together. Screen share again. So now we're on vitamin D, the last mineral. And the thing is that vitamin D is something that our bodies can make ourselves. So if you just go outside in the sun and just spend like 10 minutes there, your body will naturally, through a magical system of photosynthesis, will basically convert sunlight into vitamin D in your body. So only 10 minutes per day is enough for your body to get um, the daily vitamin D requirement that it needs. 嗯，然后就是维他命D呢，其实是我们身体自己可以制造的，所以如果你晒太阳晒十分钟的话，其实就可以得到今天，嗯，对，通过我们身体这个非常有魔力的系统，就可以得到你今天的维他命D了，十分
啊、嗯、提到的这些食物中，我们可以摄取到碘。但是另一方面，如果我们吃的食品中又吃到了致甲状腺肿因子的话，就好像我们身体在自己和自己打仗，就是我们吃进去的东西彼此之间又不能帮助吸收。嗯。Okay, so these are some of the foods that are goitrogen related, and this is actually it was during this research of this、um, talk. Where I eat a lot of millets because I don't eat、uh, rice or quinoa or other types of like um, juices. <laughs> How do you say juices? Like main dishes in、um, like a starchy food. So like this was a shock to me that millets is of the strongest、um, thyroid、um, is like a goitrogen, meaning that if you have millets and then you have seaweed, it will stop. It's complete absorption. 嗯，所以呢，大家可以看到，就是致甲状腺因子这个列表里面没有想到，就是小米居然是最强的。所以，如果比如说你又又去呃吃含碘的食品，但是如果你又吃很多的小米的话，就它其实是会抑制那些碘就是被身体吸收的。然后我自己因为不吃别的主食，总是吃小米，但是没有想到小米居然是致甲状腺肿因子里面最强的。So basically, one of the dishes that I would eat is like seaweed, millets, and then like a tuna dish together. And every time it would be this combination. And this was the only time I would actually eat seaweed. So basically, every time I ate seaweed, I was stopping its absorption with the strongest possible、um, iodine-consuming foods. So. It was really basically like the whole time you could be thinking you're like oh I'm doing all the good things in my body like I'm eating iodine I'm feeding my body I'm really prioritizing my health but then at the same time you're you when you don't understand food and food mechanics and how they work then you have something that basically is dragging you down the whole time or you mix the wrong combination of foods together that like stop its absorption even though you think you're getting it. 嗯，所以像我平时可能我会吃，比如说小米啊，然后呃紫菜呀、啊，然后三文鱼一起吃。可是虽然这三件都是有用的食品，但是我吃进去的所有的海带呢，其实都会被呃小米，就是那个碘都会被小米又吸收掉了，因此就嗯就消耗掉了。因此呢，就是虽然可能我们平时说，哎呀，我保养的很好，或者我很注重饮食。但是其实，如果我们不了解食物呃之间的这个机制的话，就是还是会把我们的身体的机能向下拉的，因为这是一个错误的混合的食品。So other things、um, that are anything soy related is basically a goitrogen, like the soy bean, the soy oil, the soy sauce, the soy like tofu. Everything that related to soy is actually a like pretty strong level of goitrogens. 嗯，事实上就是很多跟嗯，就是豆子相关的，比如说豆油，这个里面这个酱油应该改成豆油啊。其实 actually 酱油也也算在内 ，because it's also made of yeah， but also 豆油 in there too。嗯，豆油是比较强的，第三、第四量对，反正是关于就是跟豆腐相关的，其实它都是会呃成为致甲状腺肿因子的。So yeah, then you have bok choy, broccoli, kale, radishes, and I mean like kale and broccoli and bok choy. These are usually、um, greens, very very dark greens, and you think that they're really healthy, but then if you eat them, it's moderate levels of goitrogen. So you could be having your seaweed and stuff like that, but if you have too much of bok choy and kale, which is healthy for you, it can stop the absorption of iodine. 嗯，所以大家可以看到，像白菜、西兰花、羽衣甘蓝，呃，这几种其实它们都是绿色蔬菜，而且就是很很深绿的那种绿绿色蔬菜，就觉得这个应该是很有营养的。但是如果我们吃的很多，其实它们反倒会阻止我们的碘身体对碘的吸收。And actually， 第五个其实是油菜 ，so 油菜 is 也是经常会就是榨汁的时候，就是会用到这呃这个东西。And so 你榨汁的时候，呃。你可能会榨这些蔬菜 ，and 其实看看起来，嗯，因为那汁儿就这么一点可能看不出来你在喝很多，但其实你榨了
很大的一呃一团就是蔬菜，所、so, 以这个这个、可能这个治因子治那个甲状腺因子 will be very serious. Okay, so I wanted to teach you guys an Ayurvedic practice for thyroid, and this is、um, coriander seed. So what you want to do is you want to have coriander seeds, and these are these seeds that kind of I don't even know how to show this to you, but basically. They look like this in the, and you want to get like a teaspoon of this in it, and you want to put it in a crusher. It's very important you put it in a crusher and not in、uh, a popiji, like basically a grinder, a、uh, mechanical grinder. And the reason for that is you don't want to heat it up because this will have some like oil that will come out and it will change its properties that you don't want to have it like that. So you want to put it in this like a teaspoon, like just of this much, and then you want to crush it. And then you want to crush it. After you crushed it, you want to put it in water, like this, and you want to soak it for a day. So this one I did yesterday, and when you soak it in a day, it will kind of like look like this. You soak it overnight. So you crush it at night, and then the next morning you boil this water until the water is like halfway、um, boiled, and then you drink. The bottom half of it, you drink the condensed version of the coriander seed tea, and this you do for three months. This can is a potential to curing your like thyroid、um, symptoms and and like thyroid issues and your and your、um, it, even if you have like hypo or、uh, hyperthyroidism, this can help. And always when you when you put it overnight, you want to put like a cap on it. So you want to like do it like this. 嗯，大家可以看到这个图片上的这个盐水子茶茶呢，就是建议大家不要用破壁机去研磨它，还是要用这种研磨，因为它会产生一种油。嗯，那一般来讲，它是要隔夜的。比如说，我们最好是晚上，嗯，去把它研磨好，然后泡在水里，它是要泡一晚的。然后第二天早晨呢，就可以再煮它。煮好了之后，大家就只喝下面的那个。比较呃稠的这个部分，比较粘稠的这个部分，然后这样子如果能够，嗯 ，sorry， 我只是想说要煮到这个水蒸发到中间这这个地方，然后再喝下面的这个部分，你、哦、让它蒸发一下， okay. 因为让那个水就变得更、嗯、呃浓一些。嗯，好的，然后嗯这样子的话，如果大家能够连续饮用三个月的话，无论你是。呃，甲亢或者是你的甲状腺的问题，其实都是会得到很大的帮助的。Okay, and the last and final practice. So we're going a little over time. I hope you guys are okay with it. I just wanted to make sure you had all the knowledge.、Um, is walnut oil. So walnut oil, as we know, anything, any vegetable that looks like any、uh, nut or vegetable that looks like the organ in the body is usually good for it. So walnuts are really good for the brain. So what you want to、mm. do, and and the reason why we want to put walnut oil on our thyroid is actually to stimulate the pituitary glands. Like deep inside our brain, there is a gland that's there that secretes a hormone to signal the thyroid to release its other important hormones. So it's actually th- a lot of thyroid issues are actually a brain issue first. So by putting walnut oil. On massaging it on our neck, it kind of stimulates and helps the pituitary glands to like absorb it faster, like this way. 嗯，事实上就是啊，我们今天可能会稍微超一点时间啊，希望大家还还可以的。然后就是任何长得像我们身体器官的这些嗯食品，其实都对我们身体比较好。那其实呃，这个核桃呢，它是对我们大脑。嗯，特别有帮助的，在我们大脑的皮层的深处是有一个腺体的，那它其实是对于整个身体的各个腺体，嗯，都是有这种呃、嗯、刺激作用的，嗯，所以呢，如果我们用这种呃、嗯、核桃油来按摩呃我们的这个甲状腺的话，它其实是会呃帮助我们的淋巴腺来吸收呃并且感知我们的甲状腺工作的状态。So when you're massaging it, you're basically also like providing like blood circulation to your thyroid glands. So blood circulation is also a fantastic way to like just stimulate the thyroid so it doesn't get like sleepy. 
So one is like blood circulation. So any exercise that you're doing is also like excellent. So as you saw, like I just got like four to five drops of walnut oil and then you massage it on your neck, like right before you go to bed. And then you, and then you put your magnesium in there uh, and zinc and then you drink it and then you go to bed. <clears throat> 这个核桃油就可以按摩我们的这个腺体 So yeah, um I think we Yes. And so another thing you want to also note for thyroid health is that even though the gland itself might be great, the, around the neck if you're too tight and your, your whole neck region is like just really tight, it stops blood circulation from coming to the thyroid. And it also can impact your nerve endings. So it'll like crush your nerves and literally it'll stop like blood flow from coming into the thyroid. So your gland might actually be totally fine, but it's actually the physiology of your like neck, your body structure is not properly put there. That's why you'll you'll you could also have like thyroid issues from that as well. 嗯，有的时候可能我们自己甲状腺没有问题，但是如果整个我们颈部嗯的各个器官感觉就比较紧的话，事实上就是它是不通畅的，因此它其实仍然会影响到甲状腺本身的工作。so I was going to do a mindfulness eating practice. I'll just wait for that to see um, after we've done uh, qu answering questions to see if that would be something that you'd like to do. But I did want to let you guys know um, that the Yoga Avic Mom membership portal, if you wanted to come in and learn more about it, like later on, um, these are the prices. We have a special discount for mothers and then we have the regular price. And also today, because we're doing this um, wonderful like guest like public um, guest lecture speaking, I wanted to offer you guys like a special discount that is only available today until at 6 p.m. So if you join the membership portal today, um, you'll get the last price of like 333 RMB per month. And so in the membership portal, the way it works is that we usually go live like this three times a month. And then all of our classes are usually put, uh, the replay is put in the membership portal. So in the membership portal, you have hundreds of videos that you can look at from our previous months. We've been doing the membership portal for like the past um, year. We're actually in August, we're celebrating our one year anniversary of the membership portal. So we have literally from last year's um, membership portals and also in this year. And there's also like physical yoga postures for you to also like move your neck and head, neck and shoulder exercises so that your structural body can also be right. So that even when you're eating the right foods and you're exercising the right way and you're making sure your blood circulation is going, that all of it can be, um, all of it is going to be at the membership portal. So I did want to let you know that this is uh, where you can find all the information. 嗯，那我们可能等一下要说这个正念饮食，然后在我们呃完成那个问答环节之后，然后我今天嗯在我们开始问答环节之前，还是想跟大家说，呃我们今天的这个呃参加今天的这个活动呢，是会有呃会员价
is um, last month in the month of May, our guest lecture speaker was Dr. Campbell and he spoke about thyroid health um, in general, we talked about nutrition, talked about um, different things with that. And um, his lectures are something really, really great um, to go and listen to. We have a couple members in our membership portal that have actually um, done surgery and taken out their thyroid. So the one in the membership portal, if you have actually taken out your thyroid or you have like nodules or any serious issues with the thyroid, Dr. Campbell's lecture in the membership portal is going to be really helpful. The one that is coming out for the YAM podcast that he did is going to come several months later. Um, and you'll be able to listen to that lecture for free. And he goes over the basics of thyroid health in general. And it's, that is also super helpful. So if you get on our newsletter, you'll be notified when that podcast comes out. Mm. 然后其中有一两个演讲的我们是会放在我们的那个podcast上面给大家播放的 呃,会员都是免费的,也对我们就非常有帮助。如果大家能够关注我们的这个,呃,新闻的动态的话,对,都可以看得到。对,就是我们的那个电子邮件的那个东西. So this is my WeChat. If anyone doesn't have it, you're welcome to scan me and add me and let me know. Um, we can be friends. But also, um, we have a yoga avec moi group. So if you would like to be added to the group where I share um, my classes and my workshops and just any of daily inspirations. And there's also someone in the group who shares daily virtues cards. So if that would be something that you'd be interested in, please let me know, send me a message and I'll add you to the group as well. So now we're going to go... Oh. 大家可以看到这个微信可以联系到我，然后我们也有这种嗯瑜伽的群，里面会有我们日常的活动以及一些更新，然后也有朋友嗯会发一些关于美德的卡片，都是会非常嗯唤醒和启发我们的精神的。所